Um, we've only got one more stream before we have to submit this game. So this is the stream where we got to make sure it's all working um, and it's playable. <laughs> yeah. So um, this is the game jam, which we already know. Yeah. Hello, Vivax. Welcome. So, today we are going to finalise the game and then I'll try and submit it. It already is working. Ship it. <laughs> uh, I wish it was. Anyway, C64 is here, so we can test it on the hardware. Update on the C64. There is nothing wrong with this 64. I plugged it into the telly using the composite lead and it's fine and it's absolutely fine. One thing I have noticed there's a good second delay between pressing the button here and it actually coming up on the screen. So the running through the two converters <laughs> is is uh, very um slow but the 64 here the 64 here there's nothing wrong with it that shadowing is a consequence of the digitization of the signal because i've got nico cam pointing at the tv so let me uh, let me show you i've got nico cam pointing at the tv so if we want to watch it see on a tv proper Got Nico Cam pointing to the 43 inch TV, and then you'll see it when it's in composite mode that there's no ghosting. Alright? So, um, yeah, so I've got. It's not switched on, but I've got it here, so we can test it. So, where we left off on Monday is basically just tidy up and the day night cycle. So the day-night cycle on the game uh, makes, basically makes it go rever goes inverted, inverted black and white. Yeah, we've just had thunderstorms. We've just had thunderstorms and we've still got big, massive clouds going a long way up. Yeah, we've got big, massive clouds. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we was discussing dogs weeing on on the floor. <laughs> Aston, in particular, he's on the naughty step at the moment. He's in the naughty place. Doesn't let us know. He just wanders downstairs. I'm I'm now coming to the the thing that if he wanders downstairs and he's back up in a, in about a minute or so, then he's done something down there. Yeah, it's two days on the trot. Getting a bit fed up with it. Anyway. So. Uh, probably. Um, probably. Aston also wants to be a concrete artist. Yes, I saw that. <laughs> it was It was very clever. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. <laughs> yeah, once you see it, you can't unsee it. Um, that was on Discord, wasn't it? Hang on. See if I can find it. There it is. There you go. <laughs> You're telling me you cannot see what that is. That's a Banksy. Well directed. Excellently directed. <laughs> oh, well, we're going to be talking about weeing all night. Right, so, um, 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 so I've been told I can get to this dino just by doing Chrome. Dino. There we go. Press space. Oh, so it's in it's in dark mode. Ugh. 
So this is the day-night cycle, yeah? So it should go daytime soon. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm doing well. I'm not looking at the score. I'm not looking at the score because I'll just fail miserably. When's it going to become daylight? Tell me when it comes daylight, what the score was. Ugh. Start again, John. Oh. Ah. There we go. I'll use them instead. Speed it up. Come on, become daytime. As I say that, one point, one point from the high score, eh? <laughs> oh dear. I'll, I'll, one more go, one more go. One more go. See if I can beat the 500 mark. Oh, come on. Come on. Right, that must be 200. Three hundred. Just counting the bleeps. Four hundred. Five hundred. Oh, I'm doing well. Six. Seven hundred. Oh. oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone dark. That was quick. That was quick. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> hello. No one said hello to me. No one said hello? Nope. Hang on, I ain't seen chat yet. No. Oh, hi boys. Hi, hi boys. Yeah, I see Mrs. OSK's in the house. <laughs> you're being insulting. <laughs> oh, you're sulking. Yeah. Oh, can't. Winter shirt days. Who's winter shirt days? Me? Because all I've I've got this on. I got that on. 
Oh, and there will be a shirt for Nico's run. I'm working on the design. To celebrate. To celebrate. Hey, Saucy. Who else has joined and I ain't said anything? Tron, welcome. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, short days. Yeah, it's gone dark. It's dark now. Yeah. Be even worse in what? A month, I think. It's when clocks go forward. Right. So, day night cycle. What should we put it? Oh, you meant that. Oh, oh, I see. I see what you mean, mate. That it's a, it's, it's in winter mode. The game, right? I see what you mean. Go back, John. We mean go back. Oh, right. Every seven hundred points and the twenty point night cycle. Oh, they go, oh, right, yeah, they go back, yeah, clocks do. I, right, for us, right, for us, do you think 700 is too far? Because I'm not sure I'd ever, I've ever got the 700. I just like playing this game just for the music. <laughs> I've just watched chat and I've collided with a tree. <laughs> Right, I'm going to ignore chat so I can concentrate. And we've got wings! Oh, just made it past that as well. More food. That was close. I thought I jumped early then. Ooh, that's close. Oh, I'm doing well. Nearly forgot. Oh, I wasn't going to risk it. Oh! <laughs> Got totaled by the UFO. Oh, it speeded up. Oh! rats so I've got to 300 so what we the UF right we'll stop that the UFO comes in on every hundred so what should we do for the day night cycle what should we do for the day night 150 what 150 day 150 night because we can we can easily do that Can easily do that. Yeah, sounds easy. Right, so we need, we need, we need a counter.
Yeah. Right. Day, night, counter. So, um, 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 oh, we need something else. No, we'll do the, we'll do the, um, count first. So we'll reset it every time we reset the game, which is here. So we reset it there. Now, um, now we're going to count our points. We're going to count our points, so that's got to be in here somewhere. Here, add points, right? So every time we add a point, we need to add. to the day-night cycle. So every time we add one, so it's there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do ink, day-night counter. So we'll do that. And then in our Ah, uh, we can we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. I mean, we can we can do that. It's just just uh, a, just a way of thinking. So let's let's just change it, right? So let's say, where have I put it? Now ah, there. So let's say, and we'll get we'll make some game constants, all right? Let's say that the night is half the length, half the length of the day at the moment. Yeah, so that'd be height of summer. So, um, so we'll start off in the day. Not, it's not that. It's uh, game constants, isn't it? And it might not. Oh, that's resetting the score. So yeah, we're definitely putting it then there. So we'll reset the day counter to the day length, and then in in the code. That's the setup. Where's the game? Gameplay. 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 Difficulty depth setup. Right. Gameplay. So in here, we can we can put it in there. Um, do I put it in there? I think. Right. I'm just gonna see how much how much CPU t time we've got to play with. Yeah. Before we head for the ra this raster here. Yeah, but we haven't got we haven't got trees with no leaves on it, mate. And that would take too long. We ain't got that much time to do that, yeah. It's a good idea, but we ain't we ain't got time to do that. Right, let's see. Oh, we got play. We got.
plenty, plenty. Got plenty of time to do it up there. Right. So we're going to stick it up there. So we have plenty of time to put the code in for the day-night cycle in this area. So what we're going to do is... Uh, do it after the music. What we're going to do is... Every time we add a point, we're going to decrease it. So what we're going to do is we're going to load. Uh, da, 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 da. Day night counter. Branch if plus. Because we've done one, ooh, 150. That might be a problem. Uh, so... Um, Branch if equal. Branch if not equal. There we go. Branch if not equal to continue game. No. Bypass day night. Hey Nicomo. Well, because we because we're decreasing, it, Andy. I thought just branch if not equal. Then when it gets to zero, that's it. We've we've hit it. Yeah. So what what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need. So we're going to need to do this right. LDA. Um, no. Uh, reset day night counter. Store it in storage dot All right. Oh, I've just thought we can make this even better. Um 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 um, um. we can make this even better. So I need that. Oh. Oh no, let's do it here because I'm gonna to need to use it for pause and day over, aren't I? Uh day night day night state. I'm gonna need it for the pause and the game over, aren't I? So right, let's initialize the game night state. So, uh, da, 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 da. there. So we'll start off with the day length. Oh. There we go. That signifies the day night. So we're storing the day length in both the counter that gets decreased, yeah, and the state. So we know that that is the day state and that's it, the night state, yeah. So we've got two different numbers. So let's get back down here because then we can use that day night state. Have I missed anything? It is. E it is even possible to make it better. Yeah. Because this is what I'm going to try and do, yeah? So, so we're going to, because now it's got to the date, we're going to load in storage dot, nope, day, night state. Right, okay, EOR. EOR. Now, to do an EOR. 
Okay, so if I want to flip between five, um, eight and three, so I want to flip between eight and three. So we got eight there, and three there. Yeah. So I think that's eight minus three, isn't it? Eight minus three is five. Uh, eight minus three is five. Okay, eight XOR five equals no. That's wrong. Let's try that again. Eight XOR five. No, that's not right. Oh, what am I missing? One triple zero. Zero zero one one. One triple zero. So two. So that'd be uh, one oh one one. One oh one one. Da 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 da. One oh one one. That's B. Right, let's try that. 8 X or B gives us 3 X or B gives us 8. There we go. So what was that? 8 plus 3. So let's let's work this out. Um So we've got 150. 150. And which is that? Let me write that down. 1001. 0110. And we had 75, I think the other number was, wasn't it? 0100. 100. One one. So I reckon we should XOR it with one one o oh, one 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 o. Oh. oh no one. Let's wear this out. Right. 150. So that's 96. 75. Whoops. 75 is 4B. Right. So 96. XOR. DD. Whoops. Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? No, that's right. 96. Yeah. XOR. DD and it doesn't give us the right number right so I reckon it's one one zero one 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 so what's that so one one zero one 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 DF. Right, let's try that. Let's try that. So, 96 XOR DF equals. Oh, it's just slightly out. Did I write that number? Oh, I wrote the number wrong. Hang on. Yeah, that, that one's right. Oh, I wrote the number wrong. 
I wrote the number wrong. So that XOR, that is that. That XOR with that is that. Zero. So that becomes it. So that needs to be a zero to keep it the same. So it's 1101, 1101. Let me just try something. I want to try something here. 150 or it with 75. Ooh, it's so close. But it's not. Right, so clear this. Right, 150. Oh, I need to find out what the number was, don't I? 1101. D. So it is DD. 1101. DD. Hmm. 150. XO DD. 75. I was right to start with. DD. I was right to start with. So that's odd. Odd, odd. Or, or, uh, uh. I was right to start with. So, so my my understanding is ninety six X or four B gives it there we go, that's what I was looking for. So how do we do how how can we do an XOR in kick? <laughs> Can we do an XOR? Oh, is that how you do it? So it's the it's the thingy. So it's the it's the hat. Right, okay, so um game constants dot day uh, what did I call it day oh day length XOR night length that should give us DD. Yeah. That should give us DD. So we load the date and then we XOR it with the difference. That's only at assembly time. Yes, it's on. Well, they're only game constants, Andy. So it'll only happen at assembly time. Yeah. And then store it back in there. Right. And store it in the counter. Oh, I am. Yeah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
do, 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 do. we're gonna have to do it um Do I have that colour already picked out? No. Uh, setup game, this is it. Here we go. Yeah, but if... Andy, if we change, if we change the, let's say if we change the cycles, let's say if we tweak the cycles, I'd rather get the assembler to work work out what the value is than us having to work it out all the time. Yeah. Right, so we've just put the colours in. So we start off with blue. <laughs> that will take three milliseconds longer. Ah, <laughs> uh, three milliseconds. Uh, Every one counts. I mean, I'm not sure if I could work it out in three milliseconds, but there we go. Right, so... Um, so we do the same here as well with the with the the color. don't need that right so we've got it now switching so when the count hits zero we re we re-establish the counter and use the new fit and we change the color so this now this now needs to fit there so that's the get color right Let's try it. Oh yes, well spotted, mate. Well spotted. Well spotted. Well spotted. Wow, lots of notifications. So this should switch the colour. This should switch the colour. So we'll try it. I'm going to turn collisions off. So we just get it to run through. Yeah. So I'm going to turn collisions off. And we'll put it on fast mode. So we'll whisk through it and see what happens. So we should go tonight. We should go tonight. So we'll go evil mode. Because we've got no collisions on now. Oh, those numbers. Why those numbers start at six? Oh, I know why. I know why. Because we did blue there. And it needs to be zero, so we need to, we need to uh, take that out and put it there. Oops! No, wrong speed. Give me the right speed. Got so used to doing that. Here we go. Right then, so 150. Doot, 
So here we come to the 100 mark. Get ready for the UFO. That's it, we're fine. So, here we go. <laughs> oh, is, is light grey not dark enough or do, I, do we make it go completely black? Coming up to the daylight. Hey! So, question is... Do we do we make it go black or do we leave it with dark grey because that's the darkest colour isn't it? Darkest of the grey. <laughs> Take a bow sir. <laughs> well let's just see if it... Uh... So 225 that's going to be 3... 325, 375 before it goes night time again. Oh, there we go. Now, the problem is, if I pause it, If you went black, Aston would vanish. Well, uh, Saucy, that happens in real life. <laughs> when we take him out in the dark, if we if we if we let him go, that's it. <laughs> We've lost him. All we see is this white beard coming towards us when he's when he's shouting. Any other time, we can't see him. <laughs> Does cyan, does cyan blue work or light blue blue? Does cyan work? What colour cyan? Let's try it. Are you on about the daytime colour? Daytime colour being cyan. And we'll make that black. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. This is that's what this stream's all about. He's getting tweaking it. Tweaking it to make it look right. Oh, why is it blue? Um, oh, that's because I've got it set to blue, haven't I? Uh, game constant dot day color. That should do it. Aston is invisible. <laughs> yeah, Aston becomes invisible. Well, it, it does happen in real life. I'm telling you, <laughs> I have lost him once or twice. Well, that's cyan. Um, yeah. And there's black. Oh, you can see Aston. You can just see him. He's there. Oh, black. All black does work, doesn't it? Cyan! Uh, no! <laughs> it, it looks. Cyan looks like. Um, Smog. Smog colour, isn't it? Let's go, let's try blue black. Let's go back to blue. 
Let's go back to blue. I mean, there's light blue. Should we try light blue? See if, see if that is any better. I think blue's going to be better. Yes, it did, because we haven't put the code in for the pause in the game over yet. We're just trying it out. Um, <sighs> What do you think? With light blue, it makes it look like a Nintendo. With light blue, it makes it look like a Nintendo game. Yeah, it gives the impression that as. Someone farted. Hey, glad it's not in my room. <laughs> right, let's put it back to blue. <laughs> it wasn't too, it wasn't too many streams ago when somebody was doing it here and it reeked. I do I like I like the blue. I like the blue more than the light blue. I, I, I do prefer the blue. But the black doors, doors look really cool. That really looks night time, doesn't it? And then we're back to daytime. You vote for blue and black. Yeah, I agree with you, mate. I think blue and black. I think they're the two colours. A poll. <laughs> Alright then Andy, do a poll. Get get the people's responses. Get the people's responses. But I, I, I think blue and black. I mean this this is what happens in real life with Aston. He disappears. <laughs> Hello, Gary Pinkett. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right. So we've picked the two colours, which is blue and black. So let's get the colour um, into the pause and the game over. Because we're still on blue, no matter what. So that's difficult. D... Right, where are we? Where's game? Here we go, game. So we're going to load the day-night colour. Would it be possible to add some stars at to the night version? Or at least dim the cloud? Ooh, dim the clouds. Hmm... Yeah, I'm sure we can do something like that. Let's just get the pause and the game the game over screen to match what cycle we're in. I'm sure we can cuz we it's just basically the same 
It's the same methodology. Uh, da, 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 65. Here we go. This is the blue. So we load in that there. And where's game over? Game over. He's down here somewhere. There. Yes. Say again. Oh, okay. I've just been prompted. Gary Pinkett, welcome. Um, we are we are assembly coding in six five zero two. Um, we are currently writing a game for a game jam. I think I've still got it open. Here we go. We are writing a an eight bit game for this game jam, which is. Uh, you have to create a game based on the Chrome Dino Easter egg game that's in the Chrome browser. So, we as a community, I, ha I, I have two dogs. And when we started this, one of the dogs was very ill. Um, had just had surgery and was very ill. So we based, instead of using a dinosaur, we, we based the game around my dog called Nico and so we've written this game for Commodore 64 and I do have the real hardware here because we're going to try it out later we're going to try it out later and the game is about Nico having to jump over trees and kennels to get away from his brother Aston who constantly pesters him right originally it was going to be me chasing him with a syringe but we couldn't fit me in, <laughs> in sprites because I'm fat <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Ran out of rug. Shut up, saucy. Shut up. <laughs> Can you hear someone cackling in the background? <laughs> So, um, so we, that's what we, so as a community, the, the, the streamers, the streamers, the guys that watch and contribute, they have contributed to this game. So we've, we've had SP, uh, contribute some graphics, uh, Prince Phase has contributed the sound effects, uh, Stack Bats has contributed the, uh, character graphics. All I've had to do is just write the code. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you've never touched 6502. The only assembly you've ever done is 68,000 and Atari ST. Oh, you'll be Andy's new best friend now. Left the easy part to always K, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and so that's what we're doing. So the game jam, the game jam is open to everybody. And so there's some people that have done the game for MSXs. Uh, some people are doing the Amiga. Um, some people are doing some other ones. I've, I'm on the Discord channel and I've seen some of the uh, demos. But they've sort of replicated the game, yeah. So they've done a dinosaur jumping over cactuses, yeah? As... <laughs> Love the ST or get banned. <laughs> so as as a as a as a, a streaming community, we decided to keep the concept of the game, which is something has to jump over obstacles to get to get points, yeah? But we based it around our dog, based it around Nico the dog, and so it's a spin on that on that game. So um, and the reason why and the reason why we've done it as a stream, the reason why we've done it as a stream because this is episode eighteen, is 
it's for the people that have that are wanting to get into 6502 assembly and they don't know where to start so the entire streaming episodes which will end up in end up on youtube in a month or so will then give the people that have never want to write a game in 6502 and had nowhere to had no idea where to start if they watch the streams they will be able to recreate this game or create a game of their own based on what they see because we went from the very start where we had absolutely nothing to here where we are finalizing the game to be submitted in the next day or so I wish I found this earlier. It suddenly appeared in my recommended channels list. I'm on my recommended channel. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I've become a recommended channel. Excellent. Well, if you follow me, you'll find that I'm on Mondays and Wednesdays. Sometimes at the weekend, depending if I'm bored. Um, but we also... We also um, we also do um, uh, other things like we rever we do reverse engineering. So our la last project was reverse engineering a classic Vic Twenty game called Myriad. Uh, we reverse engineered it. We actually had the developer on stream helping us, and and then we recoded it for the Commodore Pet. We recoded it back for the Vic Twenty. Did it for the C sixty four, the one twenty eight. Um, the C16 and then we did an Easter special where we did a 24 hour 24 hour long I think it was 25 hours 25 and a half hours streaming sessions and we built it in Python we built it in Python using Pygame and it's a real real it's tough as nails the game <laughs> we made it really rock hard but we had the commute. We had guys contributing to that, so it's it's all about getting involved. Um, I teach. I sort of teach. Um, I try not to say I'm a teacher, but I try and try and teach. Vivax, no problem, mate. Um, night, night. Um, how oh how long was the game jam? Um, the game well we're on episode eighteen, so that's nine weeks. So it was ten weeks in total. Sorry, mate, I did not see that question just until now. So it was ten weeks. Yeah. So we've had eighteen episodes, two a week. So that's nine weeks the game jam's been for. But night night, mate. We'll see you on the next one. Right. What was I doing? What was I doing? Uh, I got a bit sidetracked. Oh, clouds. Clouds. Right, clouds. Um, clouds. So we wanted to make the clouds not so bright. I mean, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Um... Somewhere, somewhere, I set the clouds. Somewhere, because they're white. Right, this is in difficulty. Sprites. Somewhere, I set the clouds to be white. Where am I setting the clouds to be white? Oh, I know, I know. We've hard coded it in, haven't we? We hard coded it in. Nice, John. We're 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 off. We're off. Right, day, night, cloud, cloud, color. Oops. Now, by default, it's white. Now, we'd, I, well, I wasn't expecting to do anything with the clouds, so um, we will be making constants for the clouds now. So, uh, dot label, um, cloud, cl cloud, 
day color. White. Cloud. Cloud. Night. Color equals. Uh, we'll do dark gray, yeah? Dark gray. And then we'll change it if we need to. So, um, 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 um. so the thing is, because we're scrolling across, we're going to end up with, when we switch, when we switch the day-night cycle, we're going to end up with, we're going to end up with white clouds, and then dark clouds, and then we go back to daytime, we're going to end up with dark clouds, followed by white clouds. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Hey, Twitch Eagle, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, uh, we so we need to we need to we need to change it in two places. We need to change it where we've hard coded the white, and also we need to write a routine that's gonna reset those four rows. Reset the four rows. So, um, now four rows. Four rows, that's what, 260 characters? 160 characters. We can do that in a simple, a simple, simple, simple uh, loop. Simple loop. And we'll, we'll just check it that we're not going to go, we're not going to cross over into the raster, yeah? So we'll check it once we've done it. So as well as doing the cl the day color, we're going to do the same for the the cloud color. Yeah? So cloud, day night cloud color, and that, and that. So we just need to work out which lines are the which lines are on the clouds. Um, let's find let's find where we set it first. Hash white. That's the hood. That is not. But I'm going to grab that so we can use it. No, it's not that. No, it's not that. No, it's not that. No. 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 Uh, nope. Mm, nope. Here we go. Oh, no. That's display startup screen. No, it's not that. Ah, here we go. Get, so... That's that's cloud one, and then cloud two. Right. Let's. I'm um, just thinking. Well, let's run it and see if the clouds change color. Yeah, and then if they change color. We will then fig work out the the rows that we need to change. Oh, and we need to initialize, don't we? Did I? Oh, did I initialize the cloud colors? I can't remember. Can't remember. No, I didn't. That's it. Um, oh, you, uh, I love the art. Well, I can't take any credit for, <laughs> for the artwork. You should have seen my effort of a dog. Apparently, people accused it of not being a dog, it was more like a cow. Was it a cow? 
Something like that. It... <laughs> well, this is a pretty decent representation of Nico and Aston. All done by Mr. S the legend himself, Mr. Stackbats. Right, so we've got white clouds coming on in the daytime. So when we get to the night time... <laughs> moo! <laughs> So when we get to night time, any new cloud should be grey, yeah? Well, I hope. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I am I am um, switching it, aren't I? Is the scroller setting it to be white hard coder? I will I will check. Let me just check that I am actually switching it with the right colours first. Yes, I'm definitely switching it with the right colours. Right, let's do a search for white. Oh, scroller. Ah, oh, would you... Would you believe it? Would you believe it? Well spotted there, Monsignor Saucy. Well spotted. Yeah, we hard-coded the scroller, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yes, let's see. Let's see. Oh, wrong one. Right, let's see. This is how sad I am. I've now got this on my playlist in my phone. That's how sad I am. <laughs> oh, I just love this tune. Come on, go black. There we go. So as you can see, the clouds have gone dark grey, but the rest of them are white because we need to do the both. We need to do both. Uh, both um, things, which is not too hard to do, yeah. Which is not too hard to do. So we just need to identify which rows these are. So we'll go into C64 debugger and we'll count the rows. And I will turn that off for the moment because you don't want to listen to that. <laughs> I'm just listening. To, I'm just listening to <laughs> listen to this. Where's the clouds? Right, that's from there, isn't it? That's the first row of the clouds there. Hey, Gary. Thank you for following. I'll make it official now. There you go, mate. I haven't got my bot to do follows yet. Right, so they're the clouds. 
So that's the row. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's on the 7th. So it's on the 7th. 7th, 8th, 9th. Tenth. So they're the four rows. Yeah. So what we'll do is in the logic here, we'll put a simple we'll put a simple uh, looper in. So um, LDY hash one sixty. LDA. Oh, we've still got the color, so we don't need to do LDA. So color ref refresh loop, and we go store 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 um, color ram plus seven star forty comma y. Then D E Y and branch if plus to color. No, 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 no. Branch if plus to color. Really, extension, you cannot see the label back there. So that should. That should do it. If you have time, can you alter one of the cloud, cloud graphics? We have three large and one small. Maybe we change one large, uh, one large to a medium-ish. Uh, yeah, well, we can certainly do that. Certainly do that. When we've got time, yeah. Right, let's try it. Let's see if the day-night cycle now properly changes the, the, uh, the cloud colour. Let's let's warp this a bit. Here we go. No oh What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What come on guys, what did I do wrong? There's the code, what have I done wrong? Read the code. What have I done wrong? Exactly. Andy got it. <laughs> he didn't even do it. Andy got it. Well done, mate. Oh, simple mistake. Simple mistake. I thought it'd be quicker, but we it's 160, isn't it? So it's a negative number anyway. Let's warp this up. There you go. Oh, you rat, you rats. Right, I think, I think, I think we've, I think we go over. I think we go over. Watch the screen when it changes.
Yeah, it, it's. I think we're going over on our timing, so we'll change this to uh, 39, and we'll just roll it out. So it means we can do that, and we can put this back to plus like that. Let's see. Let's see if it does it now. Dun 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 That's better. That's better, it doesn't flicker now. Must be just on the cusp where it blows the raster. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, Nicomo. Uh, Failing, you'll have to tell Faze that and t to tell his buddy he's done a really good job of this tune. Really good job. Right, so that's the day night cycle. Right, so we've left. We, so we need to tidy up. So we've left in, you know, the health, the recharge. Look, it's going up. We've also left in. Whoops. We've also left in the, um, here we go, right, that's pause, you know, super duper, superman mode. So we've left those keystrokes in, so we're going to have to, we'll have to rem them out now, because we don't need them in the game, yeah? So let's go into the controls, and let's, let's take out all the cheats that we put in. All right, just, <laughs> we don't, we don't want to leave the cheats in there, because FaZe is going to use them, just to cheat. So, um, right, let's, uh, where are we? Where's the one that boosts his health? There, that one. So we'll just rem that lot out. So that's the health booster. And this is activating fly mode. So that's activating fly mode, so we'll get rid of that. Right, let's just check that they're not in now. Whoops, wrong key. Oh yeah, we worked our magic on the raster bars. It took a, it took a while, mate. It took a while before we got it nailed. There is a slight problem with the rasters, but I'm not bother, I'm not I'm not worrying too much about it. Right, like health. Right, there's no health, and there's now no power up. There we go. So that's taken the two cheats out. Pause. That is something I need to do. That's something I need to do. When it goes into game over over mode, it it Nico doesn't sit. Nico doesn't lie down. That is something that I did notice. So we need to go into the logic because I think I think when we're doing the testing on the um 
when we're doing the testing for collisions so there's the collision line right so we do dazed we set it to dazed so when we go into dazed i don't th i think what's happening is we're not setting it first here we go does he have any does he have any more lives he still lives yeah so he still lives is down here but the problem is we need to set nico lying down so we need to do that when we do into dazed mode. So we do the dazed and then we get Nico to lie down. Because that was not happening, he was still running, if you remember. So if I turn collisions on now, right, I've got to play the game properly now, boys and girls. Got to play the game properly. Right, here we go. Oh, did I? I did get that cookie. Right, invincibility mode. There we go. Right, he's lying down. Welcome back, Doctor Mate. Welcome back. Right, so we're doing the so the pause is working, so we're going to run his lives out until he's permanently dazed. Yeah, one more. Here we go. That's better, because if you remember before, he was running, and we need him to we need him to lie down. Yeah. That's better. Hello, SP. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right. Um, what else? What else? I noticed he turned red. Are we still leaving him to be... Are we still leaving him turning red when he gets dazed? Are we taking that out now? Do I? Uh, take it out. Okay. Got to find it first. That must. That's set in the cape. Not that one. Oh, there we go. There we go. So we are not, we're not making him red anymore, right? So it's definitely that one. So if we're not making him red, we don't need to make him white as well. In fact, we don't need all of that. Oh, what have I missed? By the way, you also also be able to play the game via the joystick. No, no, we took that out. We took that out. It's only keyboard. We're trying to, you know, we took that out. I think it was episode what two or three, I think. What, it was doing some interfering or something. I am, I'm reading. Um... I want to use your gamepad. 
Uh, can you make him go dark grey instead of red? Yes, sure we can. We'll just take this out and we'll make him go dark red. Uh, dark grey instead. Um, that's the that's the deluxe of edition. I'll put the joystick in the deluxe edition. <laughs> nice. Uh, it was only so we could see the coll collisions at the time. Um, I soldered my NES gamepad to my C64 a while ago. All right. Can you make him dark? Oh, I've done that. Dark grey should look good. Well, we'll find out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, I'm going to run into the first tree. Here we go. There we go. Dark grey. Oh, I didn't get that cookie either. Is it possible to stop Aston running when Nico is paused or lying down? Um, Yes, we just have to be, um, we just have to be, yeah, we should be able to do that. Let's find, let's find the right place. See. So, Yeah, we can do that. I just need to find the right... Um, where is it? Oh, I'm not sure if I've got a Nico uh, animation base. Let's have a look. No, Aston. Do, do I have an Aston? No, I don't. Where's the animating Nico? Because we do all the animation in the same place. Um, Ah, animate Aston. Here we go. Oh, we've we've hard fixed it, but we should be. We, we can um, we can certainly do something about that. Um, so if we've got we've got an animation base for Nico, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll create an animation base for Aston. Yeah, we'll create an animation base for Aston. And then we will. Oh, thank you very much for f following. Why is my. Why is my bot not done that? Or is my bot crashed? Let's have a look. Oh, I think I think it's crashed. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you very much. You guys really spoiled me. All the bits worked. Oh, 
Why did the subscription not work? Ugh. Okay. I'll have to do it by hand. I'll have to do the by hand. Oh, I've got to remember the command now. <laughs> M A R U two five eight L. I hope I have got this right. I hope I've got this right. There we go. Pro streaming at his best. <laughs> I think I think because it's because it's a new oh no it was not a oh it was a follow not a um, subscriber ah right okay that's why it didn't do it uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. No. <laughs> I referred to my previous comment. Cheers. Thanks for the support, mate. <laughs> oh, well, he's, he's last subscriber. Oh, well. So we'll have to subscribe to cancel that out. Never mind. Right. Aston Animation. So let's do this. So it means that we got to set Aston's animation base in the initial setup where we set it up. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go back here. So where we set up the sprites. Where's the sprite setup system? Choose difficulty. Setup sprites, here we go. Right, there's the animation base for Nico. So if we do that and store that into, was it Aston's? animation base then we can do we can do what you've just asked <laughs> yes you have stuck around mate <laughs> you have stuck around right so that's so what we need to do now is we're in the we don't need to worry about the game over because the game over Aston disappears anyway because we use those sprites to do the game over animation. So in the pause, in the pause, here we go. So here, we will use the Nico lying down. Yeah, we'll use the Nico lying down on the Aston base. Yeah. And then, when we get out of paused, we will set it back. Oh, I've got it twice here. That's all right. We'll use that one for Aston then. And it's normal Aston. Uh, da, 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 da. Normal Aston. Right, let's tr let's try that out. That should make Aston sit down, uh, lie down. So here we go. Ooh, what am I missing? What am I missing? 
What am I missing? Oh, hang on. I've put that in the wrong place, hasn't I? So this is the game paused. Here we go. This is the game paused. Um, there, ah, right. There's Nico being redone. And we need to do Aston as well. Uh, da, 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 there. Right, that, that should do it, that should do it. Right, so we need to, we need to, for some reason this, this change colour and we need to Oh, oh, oh. Right, okay. Do, 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 do. Bring out the big guns. Oh, why is that on Quasi? Um, do, 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 do. Oh, where did we put it? Okay, okay, let me look at the code. What file are we using? What file are we using? Game over sprites. Game over sprites. Let's have a look. Is it game over? Did we put them in game over? Yes, we did. There he is. Right, so we need to, we need to copy it across, right? So we're going to extend this to 16. Uh, let's fire another copy, and we're going to copy Nico lying down. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to do the normal lying down, which is this lot here. So copy that lot, and then we're going to paste it in there. Uh... See. Now, what we need to do is we need to change, we need to change, now let's turn off the overlay, we need to change the white to black and the black to white. So, let me do what I did before. So I know what bits to put back. So let's f now. Apparently, there's a flood fill in here. Is there a flood fill in here? Ah, uh, no. Or is there? Oh, yeah, there, there. Right. Click on that. Boom. Right. So, uh, Vic, Vic, two. So. 
His, we made his eyes, we made his eyes, right let's put that back on, right so we just need to put white on his front, we just need to put white, oops, undo, still got flood fill on, need to put white on his front like that. Oh, have I just undone it? Ugh, plank. Oh, I know. I, I, I know what I did wrong. Right, that'll do for the first one. Do another... Hey Mads, welcome. Welcome. We're just drawing Aston at the moment. Oh, and I've done it again. That's better. So same as before. Yeah, that looks okay. And then this one is the same. So black flood white give him a beard. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do, that'll do nicely. So, right, let's export this. So, we've got another set of sprites to put in. Uh, game constants. Right, so we'll keep... We'll keep... The, the name, naming convention... Now this time we are doing this equals 12 16 and normal Aston laying down and normal Lika Aston laying down right so let's get back to so let's grab that because that's the important one and we'll go back to running yeah that's fine where's the laying down part here there that's what we want so we'll put that in there right let's see if oh no no are oh, you You are jesting me.
Oh, really? Right. Um, let's move the screen. Let's move the screen. Let's move the screen, everybody. Let's move the screen. <laughs> oh, come on. Right, so it's D018, and D018, we want now to move it from 0400 to 0800, so it's that, there, right, that, there, right, so, where do we set the character set, we just need to do it the once, we only need to do it the once, Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was Aston. I wasn't sure though. Yeah, yeah. I was waiting for the next set. Right. Right then, boys and girls, let's see if we've broken it. Nope, it's fine. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Right. Right, let's just see if if it's in the right place first see if I've got it set to the right place oh it's it's still on 4-4 four four. right so I'm missing I'm missing where I'm supposed to be doing it so I only need to do it in one place. Choose difficulty. That's in choose difficulty. Um, let's do it here. Let's do it here. But let's do it there. Let's set it up right at the very start so we don't have to mess about.
Yes, I up updated the constant. I updated the constant, but we, it it wasn't mo it didn't move the screen. So I've I've now put it in the initialized Vic initialized Vic system. There you go. There you go. There we go. Why? I'm going to play that again because Aston lost his grey beard and then it came. Uh, his white beard and then it came. Oh, I can't believe we got invisibility right at the very start. Oh, it must have been just me. Because he's got his beard there. Oh, look. It's changed. Aston's yeah why would that be why would Yeah. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. We've got to get this finished. <laughs> Am I worrying about something I shouldn't need to worry about? Because his white beard comes back, doesn't it? Oh, it's there. Oh, it's there. We're changing the multicolor, multicolor color. Why are we changing the multicolor color? Oh, because Nico's not white by default. Right. Nico is not white by default, is he? He's multicolour white. I bet this is multicolour white. Yeah. Yeah, you did, mate. You did. You did. Uh, we can live with it. We can live with it. It's, it's a, de a design flaw that we've just recognised as we're about to go live with it. What do Microsoft do? We'll go live. We'll do a patch. 
It's a design flaw. Never mind. It's one of those. It's one of those things. It's one of those things. Yeah, DLC, DLC to come later. Right. Let's. So let's see. So Nick. When he collides, both of them sit. I mean, the way to overcome that is we just don't get Nico to change colour. To be honest. We just don't get Nico to change colour. Yeah. We just do that. You're not enjoying the tune. See, it doesn't happen now. I think that's a good compromise. Yeah, I think that's a good compromise. To, I, I, I know we need to make Aston jump, but I think it's a bit late now to do that. I mean, we could have we could have tried to make him automatically jump over the jump over everything. Right. Okay. So let's update our list. So that's done. Oh, the emergency cookie. Oh, the emergency cookie. We need to do the emergency cookie. Um, <laughs> this excitement is too much for me. <laughs> Alright, Fairlane, thanks for joining. Have a pleasant night. <laughs> right, so we need to... Um... Right. Where's the power-ups? So let's put something there. Emergency cookie release. Right, emergency cookie release. So, what we need to do, right, we need to set that to be off when uh, the game starts. So, when the game starts, which is um, not there, not there, not there. Not there. Ah, here. Do we have an off anywhere? Off is zero, isn't it? Yes. So we can stick it there. Right. Um, so what we need to do um, is we need to... How low do we go? How low do we go for the emergency cookie? T -t -t 
So the cookie gives you 12. So what health, what health should we um, do the emergency cookie at? So low he can still reach it. Right, okay, so... Um, I think 12, we'll try 12. Because the, the health reduction is eight. So, um, let's, f let's find where that's happening. Okay, so it's not that. Oh, Nico Health, here we go. Let's find that. The hood. So we load Nico's health and we sh reduce by the reduction and then store it back. So we need to test Nico Health plus plus one, because that's the number of characters. So we can, we could we can do the test in the display health. I think that's where we can do it. We can do it in here. Yeah. So if we load uh, storage dot not that that and branch if not equal to zero, which means that it's been set. Well, branch if minus. That means it's it's on to um, to that. Because if it's zero or plus, then we can do the test. So LDA this. If we test it for one, yeah, because that's the final character, I think that would do it. I think that would do it. Test it for one. If it's not equal to one, then we get back, go here. If it is equal to one, then we load so that's setting our flag saying that um, we need emergency cookie yeah I think that would be enough. So when we go into the assets, uh, sorry, the power-ups, that's what we need, power-ups. So 
So when we're testing for inserting the power up, inserting power up, all right? So if 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 we're inserting a power up, then we can't insert another one, yeah? So the next thing we need to do is we need to check. emergency cookie release and if it's plus then we just continue ooh Continue normally. If the flag is set and we haven't got a power up, we need to jump to add the cookie. So where's adding the cookie, inserting the cookie? Where's insert cookie? That's letting loose a add normal power up. Here we go. Um, cookie right here this is what we need to do we need to go there Hmm. I just thought of something. Um I've just thought of something and I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm going to solve it yeah we could do that Think about this, John. Think, 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 think. If it's equal to zero, we're not inserting a cookie, so we we'll bypass it. But if it's not equal to zero, That will do it. That will do it. Right, okay. So first things we do is uh, grab this and it with and then or it with Right, so that's basically, we're turning the flag on to off, yeah? In fact, it 
in fact we'll just do that so off is zero yeah off is zero but I want to I want to flag it up I want to flag it up to say that we've already done it yeah that we've already done it so what's that's what this test for so we're loading the merge we're loading the cookie releasing if it's equal to zero that means we're not sending a cookie yet because we default it to zero yeah it's off yeah but then if it's if it's got the negative bit set then it'll come through here yeah but no no if it's not okay if it's not if it's not equal to zero then we check for the bit seven if bit seven is set we carry on because we know that we're all right yeah If it's equal to, if if it's equal to zero we've never done it. If it's not equal to zero we come here. But if it's a positive number, which is what this makes it, yeah, then it'll pie pass. It means that we've actually done the cookie. If it's if it misses these two, that means we've set it to the cookie to be deployed, but we've not actually done it. So we set it off. Give it sit set bit um bit six and then store it and then we insert the cookie so when it comes back bit sit is set so it's not equal to zero so it'll not do that but it's a positive value so it'll do that that should do it that should do it Right, let's run Nico down. So we'll turn collisions off. Right, and I'll try and avoid all the cookies. I'll try and avoid all the cookies and see if it sends an emergency cookie when he gets down to his last his last character. Now I'll do this. So I'm avoiding the cookies. Oh, trust me, trust me, plank. Right, we're getting down. So when it gets to H, we should get an emergency cookie. There it is. That was the emergency cookie. I think... I think to prove it, I think to prove it, um, how can we do an indicator? different color cookie oh yeah we could do that yeah there we go so we'll set we'll set a light we'll set a green cookie a <laughs> poisonous cookie <laughs> oh we should have put them in the games poisonous cookies
Right, so we're getting close. Nope. We didn't get a green cookie. <sighs> we didn't get a green cookie. Just sent a test sprite in Discord. time have we got? Oh, I wish I, I wish I had the time. I wish I had the time, mate. Uh, do we need to insert in, uh, set the insert power up flag for the cookie? I don't think so. Uh, but I will look. I will look. Now, now because because it should be set. So when we come here, it's sh the last thing. It should be set. Oh, maybe it's not set. Ooh. Oh, here. Slash continue. Um. Yeah, we're not setting it, are we? We're not setting it. So let's set it. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 see. I wish I could put that sun and the moon in. I wish I could put that sun and the moon in, but I think it's a bit late now. What? Thirty minutes. I mean, I could put it in off. Oh, I could have put it in off stream. Oh, I hit it. I'm supposed to be avoiding the cookies, aren't I? Come 
Come on, Joan. You're avoiding the cookies. It's not doing it, is it? No green one. No green one. So, our, our inserter is rubbish. Uh, screen. It was here somewhere, wasn't it, where we put it? Hood, that's where it was. Here. Um, okay, so let's do it for zero. Um, but then we need to test this one. Now the default, the default Game constants. The default is 64 and we're minus in 8 all the time. So we need to test for this, don't we? Because we're minus. No. If we test for 32, we should be fine. If we test for 32, we should be fine. So if it's equal to 0, then we load storage dot Nico health compare it with 32 branch if not equal to bypass cookie timer uh, um how am I going to prove that these work? Right, let's see if it does go into there. Right, so I'm going to turn off the audio so it's not... It. And then we'll do this and see if... So I've got to avoid the cookies. Was it four hundred? Well, it's going down. Well, this is going to take forever. Oh. Logic. So I store zero in Nico's health. Ah, default health. Here we go. Default health. Right. Where's default health? Let's make that 16. Night, night, Nicomo. See you next time. Right, ignore the graphic, yeah? Ignore the graphic.
So we should get... It didn't fire. It didn't fire. It did not fire. Now I don't know where the break point is. There it is. It did not fire. Hood, hood, hood. Too many windows open, John. Too many windows open. Right, let's make that a one. So like I say, ignore the hood. Didn't hit it. Oh eight two three. Oh, it's an OF. How is that at OF? Trying to keep my eye on that and that at the same time. Right. Um... I don't know if that was the one. Um, let's boost it up. Um, let's do four. Um, and I'm going to rem out because that's irrelevant, the second part. This is irrelevant. Right. Let's see if it uh, fires. Oh, these things that we ain't put in, eh? Right, jump the cookies, John. Right, oh two, oh eight three. Was it 0834? Oh, it was that one, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, rats.
Here we go. Now, we set it. Now it goes in. But there's a cookie on the screen already. Right, let's put some... Now we know that's working. Let's put some break points in the power-up. And we want to... We want to go there. Now we know that that's been set. I'll we'll find it here. That's the one there. So at D, C, so when it hits four, ugh, and it would help if I was on the right. A, nine, eight, seven, six, four. Here we go. Here we go, right. Oh, so it's gone into it. So we load zero. Oh, why am I loading zero? Or it with 40. Store it in 08E7. Let's have a look. 08E7. That's that. That changes it to 40, which is right. Then we load. Oh, we're doing two loads there. Oh, that's why it's not turning green. That's why it's not turning green. And we'll do this. Don't need that. I had a Jeff Minter moment, yeah, definitely. Definitely a Jeff Minter moment. Right. Let's run this properly and see if we get a green cookie. Green cookie. Do we get another green cookie? Am I hitting that cookie? Because it keeps going up. Now, that's, that's going to be troublesome. I didn't touch that green cookie. Did not touch that, oh. Right, I know, I know why, I know why. Um, Because it's green, isn't it? We don't know what green is. Right. Yes. I, it could be. It could be. Well, we know the green cook is coming on. Yeah, 
Yeah, is, Ast is, Le is Aston picking up the green cookie? It didn't then. That's a problem, isn't it? Um, it's getting too close to Aston that it's picking it. I think Aston's picking it up. Um, let's have a look at the detection for that. Here we go. So this is our detection line. Oh. We are include, oh hang on. Right, so this is Nico. That's the power up. Okay, um, Load the power up, compare it with Nico. If it's less than continue. But this could be, this is detecting with Aston. Yeah, this is detecting with Aston, isn't it? <laughs> All right, Gary Meg. <laughs> I'll see you later, yeah? So Aston's... Um... It's causing the collision. How, how are we going to do that? Because that will say it's collided with Aston. Hmm. 
but we test it must be so close Yeah, Nico's too, Nico's too close to Aston and the cook is being registered by Aston. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Um, I mean, we could we could do, we could do we, we could do the same that we do with uh, Nico, yeah, where we adjust his X depending on his health. Um. We could do the same with Aston, yeah? Let's see if we can find it. Here we go. So we load Nico's health. We add the offset and then we do the moving, yeah? Um, What we could do with Aston is um, we could do the same with Aston. Now I'm not too sure if I've got an Aston X. Hang on. Do I have an Aston X? Nico's health offset. So we'd need an Aston health offset. Yeah, so um, let's uh, let's see at uh, logic. Where do we set Aston at? What X? Set him at twenty-seven. We set him at 27. Yeah. Right. Um, constants, gain constants. Uh, Aston. So what we'll do with him, he's at 27, and we move Nico eight characters towards him. So, um, so that's 64 pixels. So if we divide by four, that's 16 pixels. So 27 minus 16 is 11 isn't it now let's not move him 16 let's move him 8 pixels so 27 minus 8 is 19 let's do that and so we do the same with uh, Nico, uh, Aston. Let's 
go to Aston's animation. Here we go. So we animate Aston and then we We'll do the same that we do in e uh, Nico, but we're going to do it with Aston, yeah? The only difference is, is we're going to load Nico's health value. We're going to load Nico's health value, and we're going to divide by 8. So, uh, LSR 2, 4, 8. Add Aston's health X offset. And Aston is um, sprites four and five. So four times two is eight, isn't it? And then we don't do anything. So we're going to increase eight and then ten. Oh, why am I doing that twice? Why am I doing that twice? Oh yeah. Yeah. We don't need him to. So. Right. So that means hopefully Aston will just slowly move off the screen. didn't quite see Aston's moving back lot but he's still getting it he's still touching it yeah he's still touching it there's something wrong with the there's something wrong with this uh, where's the detect? Is that, that's in Nico, isn't it? It's here. We're loading six zero two four. Six. Oh. Oh, hang on. So we're loading the power up and comparing it with Nico. So if the power up is greater than Nico, then we do it. If it's less than Nico, we shouldn't be. It, it, sh it shouldn't be um, picking it up. It shouldn't be picking it up. Because the X... It, it shouldn't be picking it up. We're going to we're gonna have to put a breakpoint in here. 
Gonna have to put a break point in here, see what happens. Um, I'll turn this audio off so you don't get annoyed. And we'll see what happens. Right, so the X point there is greater than that X point there. Right, so load 106, uh, D, which is 22, compare it with D004. Which is this one, which is 34, it bypasses it. Right, okay. Uh, 22. Uh, compare it with 31. So it's not doing that one either. Right, here we go, 22, D004 is 28, still less than, it's picked it up, it's gone up. Right, we're going to have to watch that because it's picked it up. Right, why is it still registering? Where's that sprite gone? Oh six, oh it's oh six now. Why don't I see it? Why don't I see it? Okay. But why is it picking up at oh six? Right, so it's getting low. So it's this one. So that didn't do, that didn't apply any health. That didn't apply any health. That one didn't. Neither did that. Neither did that. Oh, look where it is. Look where look where it is. It's here. It's over here. Look, it's gone to one five six. It spawns an emergency cookie and then and because it's in the detection Right. Um Okay, we can we can resolve that. 
we can resolve that um, just by going into the hood but first things first we can resolve that by going into the hood um, and when we do the emergency cookie here we could load the collision detection and wipe it clean just for when it does the emergency cookie because if it puts the emergency cookie on No, it still did it. It still did it. So it's when it's putting the emergency cookie on. Right, we need to look at the, the flow. So where do we do the display? So that's where we're inserting the asset. So that's where we're doing the display. Right. don't need a bug in it now so this is where we check where's where we check in here so this is where we're checking it but we've checked for the collision further up why is it still saying I think I know what the pro I think I know what the problem is. I think so. I'm just going to rem that out because that's where it that's where it is. Right. This is what I think is happening. Right. Is because we read we read the detection up the screen and then we remove the asset. Yeah. And then we insert it. Insert the emergency one here. But the problem is, we've already read that the flag is detected, yeah? 8, 8. 8, 8, 3. Yeah, if you use branch if not equal, you that means you won't pick it up either, yeah? 
I think I think we need to do it before we need to do it bef we need to check before we insert the next one yeah I think we need to do it there yeah before we do the the next one it's just ordering the tests in the right order so let's see if this let's see if this does it right that's the emergency one there we go it's fixed it and I like the idea I like the idea of um, having a different color color for the emergency one so not gonna go green so um, what's a good alternative to red okay we'll do that let's see if it if we get a red one so I'm gonna miss it to start with yeah to make sure so we'll try red oh hang on did I put it back to the normal place um, yes I did There's the emergency cookie. Right. So um, I'm going to also, um, I'm going to rem out this uh, adjustment for Aston. Yeah. Because I don't think we need it now. I'm going to rem it out. I'm going to leave it there just in case. Because I don't think we need it. Right. So I'm going to. I'm going to avoid I'm going to avoid the cookies until we get the emergency one. There's the emergency one and it doesn't get picked up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, let's pick up the emergency cookie. Well, we're getting normal cookies. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do it properly. So we should be getting an emergency cookie. There it is. And we got two. Now we shouldn't get another one. Oh. So on the inserting here we're still getting the cookie when we don't need to but hey I'll, I'll, I'll think we're fine if the miss it tough uh, let's try orange like someone said Is he? Is he? Is he? Um, I th think. I think he set correctly. That's Nico. Oh, that's a shield. Sorry, hang on. Choose difficulty. I want to go a bit further on. Here we go. Right. Um, this is Nico and this is Aston, 27. Yeah. So he should be in his right place. His butt is off screen, is it? No, he's in the right place. He's in the right place.
Oh, it's doing it again. Right, it's doing it again. Let's put this back in. Yeah, we have to move Aston. Right, let's put it back. Right, let's put, um, let's put the values back because they're artificially low, yeah? Um, so the default health was 16, so it was back to 64, right. So this should put Aston in his normal place. There he is. And he goes backwards. Yeah, I think we're fine there. There was the emergency cookie. I think we're fine. I think we're fine there. I think we're fine. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, that's that's yeah, I agree. It was delayed because we already had a cookie on the screen. The rest are on the right, slightly higher than the characters. Yes, I know. And I am not going to mess around with it. it. You have to be a perfectionist to see that. I think if you're playing the game, you won't see that. Right, so we've done the emergency cookie. Yeah. Now, the thing is, let's put is back on I think the in I think we've got the settings right for the insertions because what happened there I didn't pick up the cookie Can't play the game. I can't play the game.
half a cloud. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know why that. Let's let's just see if because he didn't pick up the first cookie. I noticed. Oh, we got it. He got it that time. I think, I think this is playable. Oh, I missed it. Oh, and I missed that one as well. <gasps> no way, no way of avoiding him. <laughs> Was unfortunate. There's night time. Oh, didn't even see it. Didn't even see it. Oh, we've speeded up. I'm getting pretty good at this game. <laughs> I jumped over it and I didn't need to. <gasps> oh. Right. I think, I think, I think it's done. Uh, no, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I don't think I left the clearing. No, I didn't. I took it out. <laughs> yeah just ship it right then guys okay um let's uh let's get this in here right i'm i'm gonna say right i'm gonna Build this up. I mean, I got the 64 there, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to put it on there now. It's gone 11, half 11. But that's it. I think we've got a game. I think we've got a game.
I will submit this to FaZe and his crew tomorrow. Where I was trying to... Yeah, I, I mean I saw that, but I, I just... It doesn't seem to be doing it again. Right, I got that, and I got that one. Oh, too, too early. Oh, couldn't go for that one. Oh, I was brave with that one. Yeah, got the invisibility. I, um, to be honest, I think, I think in some weird, yeah, some weird initialization. It I mean, it seems okay. I mean, to be honest, I mean, 18, 18 episodes of um, roughly three hours each. What's that? Oh, John, your brain screwed up. 54, 54 hours worth of work. And we've got ourselves a game. Yeah? I think we've done really well. I think we've done, I'm really, really pleased with it. We've got, some clever, we've got some clever stuff in there for people to try and understand when they watch the videos again and when they get the source code as well. Need 10 more hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the whole point of it is for people to learn. And so when the source code becomes available, when the, the uh, videos come out, they'll be able to learn. You know, that's why I've got branches. I've got, look how many branches I've got. 18 branches. So as they are going through each episode, they can see the code changes from one episode to the other. Because we can easily go back. We can easily... Oh, hang on. Let me... Uh, let me commit the change. Because we... Like I say, we can go back to, say, episode 15. And then play it. This is what it looked like before. No parallax in. And that, that it, so it allows them to, so we go back and now we've got parallax in. Well, we would have parallax in, there it is. Got me a little bit worried then. So it allows, so it allows the it la <laughs> challenge use at most twenty hours for Vic Twenty version and almost five hundred hours for the Amiga version. <laughs> but that that was one of the reasons I did this, N not not to. Um, to win the game jam it was f purely for people to learn they learn about scrolling they learn about parallaxing they learn about the collision detection and all that that's the main reason right <laughs> you guys <laughs> right so I will I will call it from on that I will get this submitted to phase um, <laughs> learn how bad you are drawing sprites no mate you're better than me infinitely better than me absolutely infinite I, I mean 
My sprites are rubbish. <laughs> Real rubbish. <laughs> You'll do a CP Amstrad CPC version. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see later on. We might do a BBC one because this would this could use the scrolling aspect of the BBC, wouldn't it? <laughs> a flip screen edition. <laughs> Watch it. Docs will come out with a mobile one that you can play on the phone. <laughs> All right then, guys. Um. <laughs> and it <laughs> and it does flip screen editions right so we'll next stream i don't know what we're going to be doing next stream i think we're going to be going back to myriad or something oh somebody asked somebody asked me to look at something i might i might i might look at that if not we'll we'll look at myriad and uh do some st next stream i have <laughs> Gary asked me to add the sun and the moon. You mean after we've submitted it? After we've submitted it, yeah? I think it's been a really good project. I've, look, I've, I've enjoyed doing this. I've enjoyed it really, really a lot. And it's... And it's the first finished project that, I've, well, except for the cassette 50 ones. <laughs> What's going on? We're not ST bashing. All right then, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining me. It's been a good series, I think, this. Maybe we could Python, Python it as a Christmas stream set of streams so maybe we could python it all right then guys thank you very much for joining me and i i will see you on uh monday all right take care guys bye i'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel without you guys i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing right now thank you very much